George Kirkpatrick, inspiration for the nation, celebrating people we feel good about. Well, remember, you can listen and watch our program uh, in social media on YouTube, as, of course. You can also find us on your favorite podcast channel, iHeartMedia, Spotify, and Apple Podcasts, among others, uh, because we're here to help you get the very best in information. Shout out also to our partners at the Urban CNY, uh, Ken Jackson and the crew there, uh, where have you, you know, we've got some of the highlights of some of our episodes there as well. We remind you uh, about a couple of things uh, this week. Kyle Bass and the Syracuse stage will pre- pre- will pre- premiere <laughs> will premiere uh, world premiere live performance of Citizen James or a Young Man Without a Country. Two performances, August the 2nd and 3rd, although hurry up because uh, the 2nd is sold out. The 3rd, there may or may not be a couple of tickets left, but you may want to take check that out as well. And uh, what a week it has been. We have seen the presidential race dramatically change with uh, President Joe Biden relinquishing his run for president, not the presidency, don't get it twisted, y'all. Uh, he's still the president until January 20th, 2025, when uh, the inauguration uh, will take place. That's constitutional. And so uh, Kamala Harris, the vice president, uh, was endorsed by Joe Biden, and Joe Biden uh, quickly saw the power of the sisterhood because black women came together, 44,000 of them raised $1.5 million. And then the brothers came back about 55,000 of them raised about $1.3 million. And the snowball continues. President Biden addressing the nation this week saying that uh, it was about preserving democracy and passing the torch. And so President Vice President Kamala Harris has enough delegates uh, to be nominated when the Democratic Convention takes place next week. Now, uh, the GOP is pulling out all the tricks. They're calling her all kinds of names. But here's what I'm going to tell y'all, because y'all, some of y'all getting cute. Some of y'all don't like this she said, that she said, and this she did. I got you on that. But you're going to vote for the other guy? You going to let the other guy get in that despicable man? No, I'm not even trying to hear that. So we listen. The one thing we can do is vote. I'm doing all this talking and um, oh, yeah, I got you. Yeah, I was going to (laughs) say one thing we can do is vote, vote, vote. And we can also don't just think about presidential race. I know that's when we have the biggest turn turnout down ballot, baby, down ballot. We've got a congressional race uh, to think about. We've got Senate races and, and assembly races to think about. We've got all of these things to think about. Uh, and we've got to participate in them and your local city school board, uh, your city council. These races are just as important because these local races in your communities, in your hometowns, they have more influence on your day to day than say the president now we know broadly policy supreme court we know all of that is true but your what's going to affect you and your pocketbook the taxes you got to pay that's going to be impacted by the 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 town board uh, or the city council that you elect uh to make decisions on your behalf representative government so we've got to mobilize we got to mobilize like like never before many people are donating to the Harris campaign for the for the first time at the time of this conversation, a vice presidential uh, selection has not been made, uh, but there are some folks on the short list. A lot of people like Shapiro out of uh, Pennsylvania, for example. They 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 like um, uh, the I can't think of his name, but out of Arizona, uh, and there's a few. And so, what uh, uh, President Harris? I'm saying it like it already happened. What Vice President Harris has to consider is who's going to help the ticket the most, right? And 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 or should she do the bold thing and and select another woman 
as vice president. Is America ready for that? Right? Why not? But just like Obama had to be pragmatic and get working class voters because Joe Biden was a, was a safe choice as vice president, Kamala Harris is going to have to pick someone that's going to bring in those same white working class voters uh, and us too, because we in the pocket pretty much. And I love that the D9 is in force. Now, let me be clear, D9 organizations are not endorsing a candidate, but what they can endorse is principles individually. So let's get it twisted. The AKAs, the, the Qs and the Deltas and the Sigmas and the and I'm a, the Kappas and the Iotas and the Zetas and the um, uh, Sigma Gamma Rho, all of us, right? Uh, Alpha Kappas, like everybody. Um, everybody individually can do whatever they want to do. The organizations will not have a position, but if 100,000 Omegas have a position, that's that's on us without it being the actual position of the organization. So we have a lot to do uh, in the selection cycle. I don't care what you think, there's only one choice. There's only one choice in this election, right? And it's not even about how much you like Kamala and all of that. It's how much damage we know the other guy has caused and will cause this he's still telling y'all that the 2016 election was rigged and not only that he's he tried he tried to stop the certification of the election by having people change their electoral uh power they're already setting it up so that no matter if he's not the winner they already if he's not the winner they're already telling you that it ain't, it ain't a, legit, a, legit, a legitimate election, right? The man has got to go. And all the people that are standing with him, they got to go too. I'm saying that, and I'm not, I'm not backing down from that, and I don't care what it costs me, but I, I, I cannot in good conscience sit here, my people, and let you go down a river because y'all trying to get this man elected. Nah, it ain't gonna happen. And um and, and and think about what they're doing now they're going to try to say she slept her way to the top that's what uh uh freaking um megan from syracuse uh kelly tried to say okay look that peroxide must have really got to your your brain because you're bugging i'm just have to tell you that anyway all i want to say to you is we got work to do we got work to do um, we can't get caught up in bickering and, and small town this and small talk about that. I don't care about none of it. All I know for real, for real, for real, for real, for real, that Donald Trump cannot be reelected president of these United States of America. And uh, Vance and his cat ladies, they can go somewhere and sit down too. Now, you all, y'all heard about that too. And also, think about it, right? In a Trump America, that police officer that killed Sonia Massey, who called police for her help, right, would be immune because he would see that that would be a justify. He lied and said she came after him because she's, she, she, she they, and they said they knew of her and, and it me, I mean, think about it, right? This dude, this dude, this little lady who's about five, five at the, on, on the pot, he think, he, she said, she said, I rebuke you in the name of Jesus. And he said, what, what, what? I'll shoot you in the face. And then he shoots her. Sick. There's a sickness in this country. And it's fueled by um, the likes of President 45. We can't have that. And for those of us who have the power of the microphone and the voice, we've got to speak it. We can't, we, there's no in between here. If you don't come at me with no nonsense, because I can't, we can't, we're not doing that. We're not doing it. Okay. I know that's not, is that an intellectual argument? I'm not trying to make it an intellectual argument. What I'm trying to tell you is this man has shown us who he is, a convicted felon. Think about this. The very, they don't, there are some states in this country where convicted felons do not even have their rights restored. They got to go. And, and, and try to get their rights restored. But what they're doing with this, so let's say, for example, he lives in Florida, right? What they're saying is that 
he can still vote and be a, a, a elected president, even though he's 34 times convicted. They just keep changing the rules. They keep changing the game. All right, folks. So you y'all know what y'all got to do, right? I ain't got to. I, 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 y'all know what you have to do. I'm encouraged. I'm asking you to do what you got to do. Do the right thing. Do the right thing. There's no real choice here. It's one choice. It's only one choice. It's only one choice. Vote, vote, vote. Because there's only one choice.